Hello YouTubers, I'm Chaos and welcome to my gaming channel. And first, thank you guys for all the views, I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't been new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And everybody else, hit those likes and shares. Helps grow the channel. If you guys have any questions or like that, just leave a comment down below. So anyway, I've been pretty busy here in the panel this weekend. As you can see, kind of put these guys together. And as you can tell, this is a totally new room. Put water in here so I can do some uh, kibble, which I've made quite a bit of kibble so far. Just a couple little bit there. Getting lots of eggs. Uh, as you can see, I'll put a new bolt in. Let's go downstairs here. Get through here. I don't know why it always gives me a little difficulty. There it goes. So down here is just kind of a, a new room I built. Put a bed here for now, so I'm going to move it out of here. Put the fire here, the generators there, of course the bolts here, which is all houses all my important stuff. All these saddles, and all these saddles I didn't make, by the way. I got all these from drops. So, and some of these rocket launchers and handguns and the only gun I actually made was this one here. The rest of them I found in drops. And we'll go here and you see the birds are here. They're still here. Put those in there. And this is what's new, guys. It was a totally new base. Same, same area. I destroyed this one, as you can tell, because this is where it used to be the uh, area with all my plants and stuff. I tuck out. I just ran the water over there for now. Put them up there. Lights are up there. I gotta put a bunch more lights. When you stop running around. Are you following me? Yeah, let me get you all follow here. Anyway, these guys get out. They were in the pen here, as you can see. Lots of eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. And as you can tell, I got a new dino there, the one that lays the eggs. Don't ask me to pronounce the name. Ain't gonna happen. Anyway. So, I told you guys before I was gonna tear this corner out and redo it. Because it just absolutely irritated me. So, that's what we're doing here today, is I'm trying to get this built up. And then I'm gonna put a set of behemoths up this way, towards the water. So that's the idea. And I don't know why it's getting so dark. It must be the fog blowing in. That's the thing with this game. The fog will blow in. Will you stop following me? Come over here. Come on. There. Leave me alone. Alright. So we need some more supplies here. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. That'll be enough to make a little bit. Not much of anything. Let's see. We need to make some more foundations here. Not enough to make three. Let's see if we can get over here. Well, I'm just wondering why. So I got seven. This one will make eight all together. Perfect. So, let's see if we can get this to uh, line up properly here. Should be one more. There, that should be that. And I doubt these are going to line up perfectly. That's why I want the behemoth doors. So, that might line up pretty good. Yeah, it might. May not have to put beam of doors here at all. That would work out to be fantastic. I don't know if it's going to work dead on. I don't think it's... Uh, it might. It might. But if it does, it's going to be 100% fluke. Um, because when I built it, I should have showed you guys this before I tore this apart. There was actually another flooring here. And it was actually over to about here. So, and it wasn't completely straight because I had to lie them down, so... We can do is hope. If it helps, then I can put a set of behemoth gates where I want, which is perfect, because then I'll put a dead center right here. That's why I never fixed the wall there, 
That's why I didn't put this in here, because this is about the same width as the behemoths, as you can tell. So I'll put a set of behemoths in the center. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. If it works out, then great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. And another thing I'm going to I'm going to let you in a little bit of a secret, okay? The one I'm going to do with this base. I'm going to enclose this area. So there's actually going to be a roof over this. And the reason why I'm doing it is because on top of the roof, now, I want to do it. I don't know how, if it's going to be practical to do it or not. But I want to put a big base on the top, a mega base. And then what I'm going to do to keep the base from falling through, but I know you're sitting going to fall through. How's it going to fall through? Well, if somebody destroys the, the roof, the base will completely fall down and destroy it. Well, I figure that's what's going to happen. I don't want to take that chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pillars around in here. And uh, hopefully it won't interfere with the dinos or like that. So we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Um, that's, that's the game plan. I want to put elevators in here and stuff out. What I want to do is something really big, something bigger than I've done so far. And I'm sure other people have done it. And if you guys have done this before, let me know. That is my game plan, is to do that. This is going to be like an inside base, like a backup base in case I get raided up there. At least I get this here down here. But we'll see what happens. Like I said. That's all I can do. Come on. I get five. I think five is more than enough. I don't think I need five. I'm just hoping she stays inside. This just might absolutely work. No, I knew it was going to work with that. But it's the same height. That's what I want to know. I hate to take this whole wall out. See, this is what got me puzzled. I didn't know if I should do that or not, right? So. So now comes the plan of how do I fix it? But the height is perfect. Like the height is, if it's off, it's not off by much. And I don't think it is off. I think you're we're pretty close to the height. But it's just... See how much wider it is? That's the only way it'll fit. It won't fit. They won't lock because one's inside the other. That's why they won't lock, right? So, this could be a real big problem here. Hmm. See, this wall's perfect. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to destroy this. Just show you what I'm talking about. Number six. See, this won't lock to this one. And there lies the problem. If it did, it would have been so much easier it doesn't but this one will so I'm just gonna test it just to see if it will work um, oh well I get lots of material huh. let's try that yeah see it's not gonna hook onto that either I hate to have to make this base a row smaller not as wide. I don't like. Don't really like doing that. But I may not have much of a choice here. Let's see what this looks like. Well, this will work. Yeah. Oh man. 
So I may have to do this. Just make it a row smaller. Take this row completely right out. Because it might have something to do with the water too. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Oh well, it is what it is. And that's the fun part, guys. This, this is how you build. This is why I usually don't show build, me building. Because this is what happens. And uh, it's a lot easier to show you the aftermarket. And of course you get glitches like that. Which can come to be a pain as well. But again, it's a fun, I really enjoy this game. And as you can see, it's starting to get dark out, so you guys will be able to see what it's like here at night. Two. And it gets dark fast. And darkness will usually last close to 10 minutes, so. I don't know why it does this. Look, the stuff they gotta fix in this game. You can tell it's right in front, right here. So he does it again. Nope. So that's the only thing I can do, guys, is to just to make it shorter. Hmm. Not gonna be fun. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going at it, and uh, we'll be right back with the aftermath. Hopefully it'll be better. Okay, we're back. So, everything worked out really good um, as far as everything lined up well, which surprised me. Um, so again, we had to take the wall back, so we had to take all this down. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put a set the, the behemoth doors right here. So this is the center. This is the center of everything, right? So we're we'll reading it out. Put the deck right here. We work out pretty good, I think. Um, so that way it'll be all be centered. And then this, the reason why I left it like this, and I'm, I'm guys are probably trying to figure out why I left this little corner like this and then square it off, which I usually could have. Um, I'm gonna put the greenhouse right here. I, well, actually, I shouldn't say a definite greenhouse right here. It's either that or gonna be a hatchery. So this is what this area is gonna be. Um, there is not gonna be a way to go through this way, okay? And the reason is, now what I'm going to do, and try to do this, why I kept this base low. I didn't want it as high as everything else. I want to be able to put an elevator here. And uh, what I want to be able to do, let's go outside. It's easier to show you. This is, it's a big endeavor, I guess you could say. Um, is put a bridge going across to there and that way I can get up into the woods with the dinos and stuff or you never know I just might put the uh, set of doors right here you never know it I go back and forth with my ideas um, this is the idea I'm doing now I've been actually on this pretty much since I started this base and uh, you guys know that if you watch the other videos you knew I was planning on doing this um, so what I have to do now is I'm going to leave this up for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting the walls up along here to keep the dinos in. The last thing you want is another something coming in that shouldn't be in here. or You know, so I got quite a few doors or doors, walls. That should not be too heavy. That should be pretty good. So I'm going to do that and then just kind of go that for a minute and then uh, let's get you up here so let's see number six I gotta keep remembering the numbers so I usually end up forgetting numbers I'm actually doing this now all you need to do is at least to go three high that'll keep the big guys out like the T-Rexes and stuff um, the T-Rex can easily walk over these walls so you gotta make sure that you know that when you're doing it the last thing you want to happen is to be messing with the T-Rex. Especially if he comes in here 
And right now all these guys are on passive because just in case something like that did happen. Because the past yesterday, I was on like quite a bit yesterday. I did a I did about a 17 hour run yesterday. Playing this game. Getting materials and stuff to do this. Um, which is nothing unusual. I can do that pretty easily. 72 hour. I can, the longest I've played straight without stopping was about 48 hours. I'm sure I probably nodded off here and there. Just, you know. Get there. So I want to get this closed off. So nothing comes in. That shouldn't be in here. And this guy's in my way because he keeps hitting my head up here. Okay. Ah, put that in the wrong spot. Again, I'm not sure. I said the behemoth is going to go here, so this actually works out well. Because, I know you're probably trying to figure out why, is because I can actually put the behemoths here. Right here. And then this is still up, up. So I can actually build these complete walls. And then when I'm done, I can go here and tear these ones out. Right? So it actually works out. So I got to put another row on. I wish I have 18 of them, so do I have enough to go around there? I might have enough. I want to go three high. Like I said, you don't want a T-Rex walking in here. Um, and the last one, you know, the T-Rex isn't too, too, well, I shouldn't say too bad. But three easier to kill. Um, the Brontos you don't want in here because if you get attack them or one of your dinos attacks them or whatever, they start whipping their tail around and they will leave a mess. They'll destroy your base. They'll kill your dinos. My dinos are low levels. I am going to get higher levels, but I just want to make sure I get everything. Done first. There we go. Perfect. So anyway, that's going to be it for now. What I'm going to do is we'll come back when I get the behemoths up and get this outside wall finished. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look when it's all done. So, uh, we'll see you then. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Now, what we did, actually what I did, is a lot of work. Um, so, there it is. Get that corner. Not all done, but pretty close to done. We get the doors in. We get this wall pretty much complete. Um, we still got to go up quite a ways. But, uh, we'll get the roof in. That's good. We got it all the way around, so... Uh, now we got the ladders in. That's all we got left to do. And we still got to put some holes or some other stuff up here. And I'm not going to put up the ladder yet until the hatch is in. Now, I don't know if I have any hatches left or not. Let's take a look in here. And none there. Grab some stone here. And that. I'd like to make a couple. And none in there. I took all the extra supplies I had from. Upstairs, took it down here, so I don't have any, so let's make some there are windows. Where are my hatches? Right there. We can make seven. Let's make four. I don't think we'll need more than four of them. There we go. Let's get rid of this. Put these in place and put that down there. Perfect. All right, let's let's finish putting these in. That way we know where uh, where you want to place your ladder because you don't want to place your ladder in the wrong spot. There we go. Let's shut that door. There we go. <laughs> This is where it gets tough. I'm trying to get that ladder. 
might have to go up on the other wall. You might have to go up over there. I have multiple ways to get up. See? That way you don't have to worry about the... If you put the ladder over there, you'd have a problem, right? You'd have an issue. So eventually these are also going to be... This walkway is going to be covered with spikes as well. I'm going to keep going up with it eventually. I'm going to fill this hole in here because I forgot to put a ladder already existing here. And of course, we get the other wall over there, so we'll have to fill that in. Or we can just put a booby trap in there. Kind of confuse people, I guess. Hmm. We'll see. Alright. Let's see if we can get this ladder in the right spot here. There we go. Perfect. Can't complain. Always set your combinations. I'm just going to pick a random one. But, uh, yeah, make sure you always lock your. Your doors and your windows. The last thing you is you want somebody opening up your door for you. And chances are I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Ooh, that's bright. That's the same thing. I'd say so. Alright. It's always the fun part. It's always the fun part. We're not trying to do this stuff. Now this is going to be difficult as well, putting a ladder right in here. Oop, I had it. Right there. Perfect. Getting lucky. Getting lucky today, guys. Getting this stuff in there in the right spot. Okay, let's see if I can kind of approach it here a little bit. Let's uh, shut this. Come on, go down. There we go. Ah, oh, of course I had to fall down, didn't I? Yep. Not too smart in that point there, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna run over it quick. Yeah, this should work. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Can't complain. So, what we gotta do is we gotta put a door going out this way. Usually the four corners usually have a doorway to get out. Uh, we're still gonna make one other one here, as you can tell. So, I'm probably gonna put it right here. Which I will be doing. I don't have any doors. Anyway, I forgot to show you guys this here, and this will take us right outside. And I took the whole section of wall out, as you can see, because here's the remnants of it. That's what's left of it. So another thing I did is I put little ramps up here. Just for when in the water fishing or whatever, or falling off the boat. It's just a little easier to get up on that, I guess. And it kind of finishes up. kind of looks a little bit better, I guess. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, so we got to put some doors. We could put one there. We got to put another one there. That's why I put these little ramps here. But I can't put one here. It won't let me. So hopefully the doorway will work to where I can walk up and down without any any problems. I'm going to put another one right here as well. And then I'm going to put another one way over here, as you guys know. I got to finish the front here too. Now that was a glitch. Wow. I was way over there, and I'm back way over here. That was impressive. A little annoying, but impressive. All right, so again, i got to finish this off. There's still lots of building to do, a lot, a lot of building. Like I said, I want to put a bridge across here, up to there. So we'll see how that works. I don't know if it's going to work very well. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. What I might end up doing is making maybe a ramp or something, maybe. I'll, have to, I'll just have to play with it. And I'll let you know how I did it and how many times it took me to do it. Because, again, if you guys want to see me build, build stuff, just leave a comment below or give me a thumbs up. And uh, I can show you the building process of demolition and then rebuilding it. Um, 
all I ended up doing was more or less just have everything absolutely ready and then uh, do it maybe like two or three parts of just building or videos I should say to it and uh, I suppose I could cut it kind of shorten it a bit like I did with this one um, but anyway yeah look at all the eggs over there <laughs> those guys lay a lot of eggs do what these other guys didn't seems like when they wander they lay eggs more I guess well, look, we got another egg right, just drop right there. Now these guys are good for your, uh, these guys, your Dickerous, and your other guys, I can't remember their names. My God, I'm bad for names. Sad, really sad. But anyway, yeah, so we'll get that done. And again, chances are I'm going to put my uh, garden here, because it's close to the water, right there. And, uh, be more protected there too. This is a. I'm putting a. Uh, actually, I might as well show you an outside corner, which is going to be. This is its own little area here. I'm going to put some guns in here, turrets and stuff. Oops. Oh, you. You want to go, do you? Come here. Where'd you go? I gotta tame one of you guys. Once I get some kibble for you. Back here. I need the meat. Thank you. That's gonna glitch again. So not let me have it. But anyway, guys, I highly appreciate you guys watching, and uh, for all your support, I thank you guys a lot. Uh, and again, for anybody new that's watching, please hit that subscribe button. It does help. And everybody else, don't forget to give a thumbs up and share it. And again, if you guys want to see me do this, like just building, let me know. That's nothing I really enjoy building, especially in bases and stuff like that. So uh, the next one I'm going to build once I get this pretty much, it's not complete, but close to being completion. completion I'm heading out here. I'm going to head to the water. So and then I'll get some megalodons and some dolphins. And, because eventually I want to build an underwater base. That's my goal, is to build an underwater base. So, for some reason or another, we're not glitching, so maybe just the... I don't know. Just ain't letting me cut these people out. What's up with that? Let's try the axe. Weird. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And to always remember to have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.